Let us continue playing XCOM. We have our first terror mission. This usually doesn't go well, and to be honest, I'm not overly confident about this one. We have nine crew and a rocket tank. The job of the principal job of the rocket tank is usually get shot and destroyed instantly. What we will be doing though. We'll keep all of that, because that can be useful. Get rid of the auto cannon and the heavy cannon, which can now probably be sold. We now have ten laser pistols. Actually, we don't need ten, we only need nine. But we'll take ten anyway. Uh, ten grenades, high explosives, stun rods, electric flares. I think we're all set here. So, let us see. Actually, um, terror mission at night. I could do a little cheat and try and back and forth it to try and wait for the sun to rotate round. Uh, ugh. No scam out of that, I thought you crashed. Okay, beginning the mission. Uh, it's about morning, but I think we're not going to get away with that. So, what we want to do is we want everyone to have an electro flare in hand. Because they're armed with pistols, so therefore they can do this. And then. Steve. Right, so now we want the back few people, like four, shall we say, to be armed with stun rods. In fact, I might as well do this for everybody. The um, pack I've got on does kind of try to, or supposed to try, and keep soldiers with the same equipment between missions. So this will be a test of that, I guess. Assuming anyone survives this one. Also, we'll take away the second high explosive from Shin from Oblivion. And let's go. So it is at night, and if I can scroll back to where I was, that'd be useful. So this is our tank rocket launcher. It's not immediately shot to pieces. And it, we're up against floaters. Now, there's a lot of things in the way of a rocket there, but... Just see, so we've got building, building... Now, he's got eight shots. But he's also got a lot of movements, so we're gonna use him to scout. He's found another one. Mm, Alright. Fire. Well done, that tank. Alright. So now it's the turn of the operatives. Shin from Oblivion. Auto shot laser pistol. And six more. Well, total six. Two floaters down. Now, floaters are slightly annoying in these terror missions because they can hide absolutely anywhere. I lost track of a number of these. Oh, you're carrying too much. And also, we see an alien. We so oh dear. That was quite well found. Right, what I want you to do then. Well, this area is quite well lit, but this area isn't. So through. Fine. Alright, fine. You know what? Don't throw it anywhere. So, what we'll do is we shall have you drop both of your grenades. This mouse actually behaves. Because that might speed you up for later. And you. No, actually, no, you don't have a snapshot. Just duck and hope. So, moving targets suffering the same affliction, actually. Alright, drop your stun rod. To the front. Clive's okay. Because unfortunately, Delboy was our strong, um, strong man comparatively. All right, you duck behind there. Should really get snapshot on, but oh well. Edward can move okay. So he should go out to about probably not that far, if we're really honest. What he can do at the very least is just let that area up for us. Alright, let's see how many civilians die. 
So if I'm none. We are down one operative though. I don't know who that was, but might have been blue. Yeah, the Reavers. <coughs> Reaver plural. Okay. This could hurt. Thankfully they're not oh god. They've sent the entire wave of them on us. On the plus side though, if Clive were to say move over here, turn around, mm, we'll wait on that one. Then if a tank were to go like that, like that, and then were to say fire an aim shot there, okay. One down, and the tank has claimed two. Now a big problem is that blue can still see that thing, but can't see what actually shot. Oh. Um, you know what, I'm not really bothered who shot uh, that guy. But you are brilliant. Okay, you've earned yourself a well-earned kill. And now yeah, you've spotted possibly what shot at us. Except that's not it. So you're going to have to hope that a snapshot's going to be enough. Goodbye, Blue. Now I made a comment in my one of my earlier, um, my first Let's Play of this, that um, floaters are quite a bit weaker as a terror opponent than sectoids. I'm not sure they've forgiven me just yet for that comment. Come on. They don't have a lot of armor, so if we hit them, it's likely to kill. Right, now we've got to work out. Uh, mouse is being really odd at the moment. We have to work out now is how we're killing the second one of them off. Thankfully it's a bit further back and it has just seen its friend get uh, destroyed. And we've hit it with a couple of laser blasts. So Stilgar or Kung Pao is a bit um, overburdened so we can drop his stun rod. That'll be fine next turn. Stilgar will move forward. I'm still not sure. I've got a feeling it was something float it was a floater from from say this high that killed us, so Oops, I don't know why Steve ducked there, but I don't suppose it's gonna do him any harm. And the only thing I can do now is hope I got lucky, but I didn't really. Okay, Edward. Yeah, the snapshot's saved. Can't see anything. Let's see how this goes. One civilian down. That's two. Dang, I was right. I was wrong about directional thing. That's a f how many of them are there? That's five, I can see. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. There are a lot of enemies. Clive then will hold off. I think what we're going to do now is see which one of these gets can be seen. This is probably going to cause. I think he's unconscious. Either that. Well, actually, I'm not too bothered. Our tank has been phenomenal so far. Let's see if we can move target. We can't deal with a moving target. Oh, we are destroying them. Edward, you were shot at last turn. You'd taken no damage from that, though. Right, you're going to use the rest of your movement to run away. Because 
you. We can't see what's killing us from over there. We see another alien. He can no target can see that. And there's not too much risk of um shooting in the back. Actually, there was more of a risk than I thought there might have been. The red clearance citizen then. We'll open fire. Ugh. Careful with where they're placing those. I know it's a paranoia trait to shoot. Alright, you can just keep the snapshot prepared. Power has full movement. We'll bring out Stilgar. I really want to know where that floater is. One more round of shots and then you're going to duck for cover. Right, now you duck for cover. Well, that'll have to do for ducking for cover. Clive, then, will head over here. Let's hope there's not any more of those, if we can. There's still plenty of floaters about, and... Uh, oh, we're still getting shot from over there. I want that floater destroyed. We know there's one roughly over here, though. So let's stay... Hmm, gas station. Some, there's a lot of gas there. Move Clive over to... Now oh, I've used up all his time yet, so he doesn't have even have a snapshot left. Okay. So still got still in trouble. Let's roll the tank down. It has a snapshot available. There's always a dangerous thing with a tank, especially a tank firing explosives. But hey. Edward, your job is to now see if you can find this thing. Because I think he's on either on the upper floor. Or he's up here somewhere. Oh boy, that's really not good for um, Stilgar. So you can move to there. Oh, we found him. Right. Fire. No line of fire. But at least we now know where he is. So, red clearance citizen, move to about there. And you can see him now. Alright. <laughs> Uh, apologies. Okay, that didn't quite go as well as it might have done, and has basically meant that the Red Clearance Citizen now is probably about to die. Uh, unless... Moving target's probably not appropriate. We could go with... We'll probably move Stilgar in a moment. Steve 1.0. Can he manage anything from there? Yes! Okay, that's good. Alright, so now we can use Stilgar properly, and he can move towards there. Right, end of the turn. And Clive is being shot at. Okay, I don't think there's going to be too many of these guys left, but we'll shoot with Clive. Yeah. Shooting a point behind the alien, but did kill the alien. Okay. Tank. I'm going to use you for scouting. I want you to go along here. You have found the alien. Unfortunately, I didn't set up you to be um, snapshot, so... Okay, I very nearly lost a tank there. That would have been very, very silly. Mind you, it has claimed quite a few kills already. It's almost onto the honor roll on merit. Okay, well then, Clive, you killed something you weren't shooting at. Could you kill the thing you were shooting at? Just for bonuses? Uh, no, is the answer to that. Okay. Edward, move around to there. 
door's gone. Now we know somebody was messing about with these sorts of doors earlier because we heard it. Still go. Move down to there. Well, if the civilian's still alive, that's a good sign. Who have we got who's... Um, can you get to about there? And still be able to fire. Yes. Okay. So you can have four shots at this guy. Well, that didn't go brilliantly well. And that completely missed. Alright, so he's floating on way. Which means the tank gets to chase again. Right. Ooh, another one. Well, fire. Missed. Okay, well that's the first time he's actually missed it, something he's shot at, but... Now, do you knew, does this mean... Ah, oh dear. Move behind the packing crates, I've got a hard feeling about this one. The moving target... We'll go and fire at this thing then. I like to fire. Hit. I can't see where the floater went to, but. Oh, you shot between his legs, well done. The floater could easily have gone upwards as an escape route. Alright, this time we're going to auto shot from Clive. And again. And one more. Alright, we still have a snapshot available, let's not risk anything more there. What we want to do is just make absolutely perfectly sure that there's nothing behind there that's going to come out and pounce on us a bit later. Also, we need to check out this place. Who's left in the Sky Ranger? That's just Kung Pao. I think Kung Pao needs to come out and do something. So Kung Pao can move to about there. So everybody off the Sky Ranger. The floaters back and still shooting at our tank. Could well be just these two left. Alright, moving target, can't see anything. Kung Pao. Yeah, uh, tank's sort of in the way of the float, so if we move along here. We can still fire a snapshot if needed. And now Kung Pao can shoot you. Hits twice and didn't kill. They look quite tough then might be the leader. I'll have one more go because might as well. Moving target. Still can't see where the reader went to. That lamppost is not surviving this one. Oh, he's been hit three times now. Come on. I was about to say, what are you? Still go? See where that Reaver went off to. More importantly, he can now see another floater. Still guys in trouble. Uh Edward? You might have to replace still. Darn. Red clearance citizen. has used all your time units to move to somewhere that doesn't actually help us that much. Uh, right, what have you got? Moving target. Snapshot on. You're heading back round. Steve 1.0 towards the alien. Let's just climb. Now we want to check if there's anything around here. 
There's a load of civilians around like some gas canisters. Oh, what's been in here? Thankfully there's nothing in here now. No, don't don't do that, just get yourself safe. That'll do. Right, so still got surrounded. Just about survived that one. The red clearance citizen is hit. But managed to survive that just about. So Stilgar can see the alien, you must see the alien now. Failure equals death. Um Tiny, so you got left. You got 13. You hit him a fair few times, didn't get him. Duck and cover. Right. So, we're fairly sure then. Right, the Red Clearance Citizen can move around here and sneak through. Meanwhile, Steve won. Can't see him from there, so we're just going to move around and that duck. The moving target will do the same thing at this window. And duck. Kung Pao moves around to here. And ducks. Oh dear. They are seemingly everywhere. Okay, so fairly certain he's now in there. Send in the red clearance citizen. For he is expendable. Okay. Kill him and you're orange. I think the red clearance citizen has gone up to orange level. Okay, Steve then just moves around to make sure there's not a second one. <laughs> Goodbye, Steve. I really don't want to risk that. <sighs> right. Alright. Plan B. Where's the tank? Now, this is a rather stupid move, but if I roughly hit there... Well, it didn't actually kill him. Meaning, once again, still you have to kill him or die. And he might not be the one that was shooting you earlier. So, duck back there and there. we still got a Reaver to worry about that's floating around somewhere. Uh, Clive can move back out of there, I think. Well, morale is overall quite good. But we have lost a few people here. In fact, we lost quite a few people here. Still aliens. Still floaters left, and they're still shooting at my tank. And the Reavers come out to play. Is that it, though? Just the one Reaver and one very foolish floater. Dang it. Alright. That was stupid. That was really, really stupid. Let's not do that again. Um, in the meantime, Stilgar, if you'd be so good as to unleash laser on this thing. 
Yes, that's good. Do some more. So, if I'm right now, all that's left is the Reaver, who shouldn't be able to get to you. Kung Pao can have a shot at the Reaver. But let's move you forward one space, there's absolutely no chance of you shooting um, your friend in the back. Right, is that everybody? Well, let's... we've still got people who have movement, so we're not quite done with working that one out. There's a dead person over here... Red clearances can move out to there... Still more aliens! Darn it! I should have been more aware of that! Right, red clearance citizen, kill. Then try to duck and cover. Kung Pao. Need to clear this building out. Okay, nothing. A lot of aliens on this terror mission. I don't think there's normally this many. Uh, tank. No dead bodies to speak of, so... Is that a hole in the wall though? If it is, that means I'm not done here. No, we are done here! Fourteen aliens killed! Fourteen alien corpses recovered, three live aliens recovered. Uh, 36 alien artifacts. Uh, the civilians, were, eight of them were killed, we saved three. And we lost five operatives in that. So let's just check our soldiers. All that remains then, Delboy Clive, the Red Clearance Citizen Stilgar, and Kung Pao. Well, I guess this means we're going to need five new soldiers. Not enough money. Okay, so we only have six soldiers. But once the thing comes back, We'll be able to um, sell some stuff and make some more soldiers. Or something to that effect. Okay, so we don't need any more pistols or pistol clips or rifles or rifle clips. Don't need the rifle cannon, heavy cannon, rifle cannon, heavy cannon, ammo, auto cannon, rocket launcher, or small rockets. We do have one laser rifle now. Um, might as well sell off... Nah, no much point in selling off the grenades. Need some more high explosives. Let's not sell off those. We'll sell off, though, all the plasma pistols and clips. Uh, keep the alien grenades, because I might use those. Let's get rid of most of the corpses. Mar 1. Most of those. And keep the alien alloys. So that's given us enough money to now purchase another four soldiers. Research is still going unknown. Manufacture, we now have the laser rifles on the build. So, onwards. Small grounded UFO. We have five and a tank. Okay. I didn't set a timer. But what I will do is I will save now, and then next time we go and do that mission. Until next time.